Ever since the movie Constantine was released in the early 2000s, viewers were mesmerized by the story that Reeves managed to bring to the big screen. The movie quickly became a cult favorite, and for years viewers have been requesting more. Well, their requests have been answered, as a sequel to the loved movie is finally on its way. Fans of the Hellblazer comics saw a drastically different John Constantine in the 2005 movie than they were used to. The London setting and the DC Comics's blonde-haired hero were gone. Instead, Keanu Reeves took on the role of an American John who battled demons on the gritty streets of Los Angeles with the help of his apprentice, Chas, to escape his fate of going to hell. After he decides to leave this cruel world, Constantine is saved from death and is given extraordinary powers and becomes a guardian on Earth. He's sentenced to hell after his death, but with his insight into the supernatural, he aims to earn enough goodwill to make it to heaven. The events of the fantasy movie revolve around the hero trying to save the world from an inferno, which leads to battles between demons, Lucifer, and even the archangel, Gabriel. As Constantine was trying to get Lucifer's attention, he ended his life once again, but was pardoned by God for his self-sacrifice, but he still refused to let him into heaven. Afterward, Lucifer cured John of his terminal cancer and revived him, leaving him on earth to live out his days. In the final moments of the movie, Gabriel was turned mortal and Chas died. But in the post credit scene, Chas turned into an angel. At the time of its release, the movie wasn't an extremely huge success and it grossed $230 million worldwide. The fair box office result might be the reason why we've waited almost two decades for a sequel. However, even though the movie wasn't big at the beginning, throughout the years it became an iconic movie that got viewers hooked on the story and they demanded to see more from this legendary character. With Reeves' career skyrocketing thanks to John Wick, requests for Constantine 2 only got louder, leading to many rumors that the sequel will happen in some form. This interest led Reeves and others involved in the movie to smash that like button if you haven't done so already. But no, it led them to seriously start discussing the possibility of a sequel. After a while, the sequel was finally announced. Even though the first film wasn't a huge success, Warner Brothers decided to make a franchise out of it, given their last efforts to bring more DC characters to the big screen. The news for the sequel broke in September 2022, and since then, viewers have been speculating what we can expect from it. Constantine has been a fan favorite of the DCEU since the last time he saved us from the Antichrist. The movie showed a completely new world where angels and demons were living right beside us and going to some crazy clubs. Since the first movie premiered in 2005, Various versions of the character have appeared in several DC productions. Most recently, Jenna Coleman appeared as Joanna Constantine in The Sandman, which brought a fresh twist to the character. There was even a standalone HBO Max series due to go into production, but has since been shelved. Also, there has been a live-action series after the movie came out, but the show saw its end after one year. Even with all these adaptations of the character, fans cannot stop thinking about Keanu Reeves' version of Constantine. The resurrection of the much-loved character has been a long time coming, even Reeves have been anticipating it for over a decade. Today, we finally have news that a sequel is coming and we'll finally be able to see Reeves go back and reprise his role as John Constantine. Jumped off the roof. Thought you said she was murdered. Yeah, well, Isabel wouldn't have taken her own life. With the announcement of the sequel more than a month ago, Everyone wanted to know just when they will be able to see the movie as they've been waiting 17 years for it. Well, we're sad to say that you might wait a bit longer. As of today, there's still no official release date for the movie. The project is currently in its early development stage, meaning there won't be significant news for a while. Warner Brothers is yet to start filming. Since filming and the post-production phase still need to kick off, it's unlikely that we'll see Constantine 2 before 2024 at the earliest. So far, this 2024 release date is only a speculation as we aren't sure just how long it'll take them to make this movie. Another thing to keep in mind is Reeves' busy schedule. He has quite a few projects working on, so fitting the sequel in with the rest of them might not be possible at the time. His schedule must be open for him to start filming this movie. Also, the other actors that will be involved in the movie, as well as all the crew members have to be available for quite some time to make this movie happen. If they were to start filming as soon as possible, we might see it in 2024, but the best guess is that the movie might even reach 2025 or 2026 at the latest. We've already waited 17 years, we guess we can wait a bit more, right? 
I'll see you around. Even though there isn't an official cast list released for Constantine 2, we're certain that Reeves will reprise his role as John Constantine, the demonologist and supernatural exorcist. Although it's known that Reeves will be coming back, we aren't so sure about the rest of the cast members. Peter Stormare did an incredible portrayal of Lucifer, but it isn't sure whether he'll come back. Since 2005, multiple actors have portrayed Constantine, so for this movie to go back to Reeves is a bold and exciting decision, as Reeves managed to bring a new portrayal of Constantine that many can't seem to forget. From the first movie's ending, we know that Shia LaBeouf as Chas is now an angel and Tilda Swinton as Gabriel is now a mortal. Both of these characters have a possibility of returning to the sequel, but so far neither actor has confirmed their appearance in Constantine 2. Director Francis Lawrence, who was at the helm of the first movie, will be returning to direct the sequel as well. Pairing the star and the old director together could see a bit of the magic restored from what we saw in 2005. In addition, Akiva Goldsman is set to smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. But no, in all seriousness, he's set to write the screenplay. He has worked with Lawrence on I Am Legend and has written some impressive films including The Da Vinci Code and A Beautiful Mind. Judging his career, this upcoming sequel will not disappoint. He has proven himself a writer of extreme quality that knows how to handle a title. He'll also produce through his company Weed Road Pictures. The sequel is still very early in production, so we don't have an official information on what the movie will be about. But given the ending of the first movie, there are quite a few things that can happen in the sequel. Also, there are plenty of comic book storylines to work from when looking at the sequel. Last we saw Constantine, he had just quit smoking and had been given a second lease on life. He turned over a new leaf and was ready to value the life he was given. But this renewal came at a price, his right-hand man Chas died, Father Hennessy is gone, and perhaps this time around we'll see him on a quest for revenge. We might even see Angela continue down the path of being a paranormal investigator, working alongside John. There are also some theories that we might see John and Lucifer come head to head once again as the King of Hell tries to take Constantine's soul once and for all. We will also further see Gabriel and if the ex-angel has any plans for revenge. We're also sure that Chas will come back in some aspect of his new form, even though we don't have an exact storyline, the ending of the first movie completely opened the doors for the sequel. We also believe that given the time difference between the two movies, there might be a time jump into the future in the sequel, where we'll see Constantine deal with a new set of problems different from the ones in the first movie. You'll love this video next.